uh, a lot of traders don't understand that. You know, so say yesterday, you know, we said let's go long side, probably going to go test 43.75 and then the 46 and a half and, you know, <clears throat> not thinking that we're going to get a, a vertical day. I mean, that was the plan. You know, we'll just get some, you know, get some range trading, take out the high and we'll make some progress, back test. And then all of a sudden you you sense in the back of your, the hairs on the back of your neck go up and say, wait a minute, they got these guys trapped. This thing is is coming out hot. There's a gap of 54. Let's think that's where they want to go. Once you have that, you know, skull session, just like a football team at halftime, then your plan can change. So let, let's say you, you decided you want to try to short 48, 47 and a half, and you get beat a couple of points. Fine, you give them your finger. You don't give them your whole body. And then you say, I'm going to wait, I'm going to be patient, and somebody's going to want profit. So, yeah, I'm going to use that 56 and a quarter for, for resistance and try to short that 55 zone, see if I can't make a few points. It could be the other way. You could say, I want to buy a pullback. If they pull back near 50, I want to buy it. You don't have to take, if, if your original intent was to short air, it doesn't mean you have to short the higher high. You could just let it go and then on the pullback, buy it. And, and the goal of that buy is to make your stop out, get your stop out back. So that's part of trading that a lot of traders don't understand. You, just because you originally wanted to short doesn't mean you have to short to get your money back. All you want to do is say, okay, is there a trade that makes sense for me? And it will bother you until the cows come home to be buying 50 after you did not buy 40. If you didn't buy when we said 35s, whatever, and then over here you didn't do anything, it, it, there's something about us, our psyche, that says, why in the world do I want to buy 50 if I didn't buy 40? But in a, in a rabbit dog day, in a Momo day like this, that's the correct play. Morning after trend day, same thing. 30-minute chart says buy. So those traders who already played for the gap and, and got the retest up here at the 56 zone, already made a few bucks. And if you're thinking conservatively, like, you know, consolidation right now after this big move, you've, you've already made a few bucks. That's trading. So this morning, I'm thinking a little consolidation. We could get higher high. We could get lower low, megaphone style. And don't forget, it's a Jewish holiday, so, you know, we may have lighter volume. So currently, this is the supporting low. So that goes. Shorts are still held captive. We've said, let's think of 48 as support because that was previously a resistance zone. So that will be a retest. In one of these uh, moments, we will get a rollover and come back and test this, this big spurt through here where, where no support was built up. That's a given. The question is when. <laughs> the Obama phone. <laughs> oh, Zeke. No, I said megaphone. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, the Obama phone. Hey, let put some juice in this. Well, yeah, got to look good today. All right, thirty minute chart is what we're looking at, and uh, obviously on the RTH, um, this last pullback, this is a significant, you know, low for now. This this was very ill formed. This was just the gotcha move here. That's all I can tell you. And to those of you who understand this pattern, once we start to roll over it under and over a few times, um, that means it's consolidating. Because you can easily change this and see it to like a 10-minute chart supportive. All right. Today, no heroes. Morning after trend day says buy pullbacks. Think of them as scalps. got 55 as our demon and we've got 51 and a half as the angel gap zone in that 53 zone and I'm thinking any trades we take this morning either side don't look for big trades look for uh, probably over trading today 
and I definitely don't want to think like we're going to have another day today like yesterday. If you think that way, then I've got a bridge to sell you.